Hey, 2020 twins. Welcome to Loving Lane. It's Miss Kelly coming to you with your what you should know in this time reading. So, thank you so much for your likes, shares, your subs. My new lovers, loyal lovers, thank you so much for subscribing and constantly supporting and showing love to the channel. You get my most humblest gratitude and appreciation. I appreciate all of you. So, with that being said, let's get into the reading. So, we have here unsatisfied and constantly complaining about their life. So, I feel like, um, <laughs> Jen, what you should know is that someone around you, they may constantly complain about things, make, make it seem like things aren't going too well and it's always something and, you know, uh, but they're never, like, grateful for things that are going positive in their life at the time. We have tried too hard at overcompensating here, okay? We have fake accounts pop up and automatically block so some of you you know somebody could be trying to call you blocked somebody could be making fake accounts okay and as soon as you see it you block it you know what i mean they be saying saying something stupid and wow you know like a lot of these little people be saying in the comments when i little things sometimes okay the weirdos and then we have um it's clueless how they act and can't see what they're doing wrong so somebody here, uh, they don't know how to take accountability, okay, for their actions. And then we have fearful, afraid of losing themselves by loving you, okay? So somebody here um, could be afraid of losing themselves, you know, if by falling for you. But I feel like it's possibly already a little too late, <laughs> okay? Um, I do feel like this is somebody who is very hot and cold, you know, <clears throat> extreme inconsistency like they were never consistent about anything um this person could have like you know did the most for no reason like trying to overcompensate this is the type of person they follow the crowd they may try to come off like they're a leader but actually they're not reason being because this is the type of person they'll believe anything that somebody tells them you know what i'm saying um i'm also seeing here that somebody here you know, they could be jealous of your beauty. So, somebody could be watching you online. They're evil eyeing you because of how you look. You know what I mean? Superficial, stupid shit. But, hey, that's the world we live in, right? <laughs> look, you get used to the superficial and the stupid people after a while. You know what I'm saying? And you just learn to accept people for who they are and how they are. I mean, just period. But that don't mean you have to deal with them, okay? So, y'all know how we do. That don't mean we got to deal with you. Yeah, but whoever this is, somebody is very clueless to the fact. And I feel like there's not that they clueless. I feel like they know their behavior. They just don't have any urge or, you know, urgency to fix it, is what I heard. Give me something here. Alright, so we ended up with two with this one. Okay, strategizing and toxic love here. So, yeah, somebody doesn't realize that they're very toxic. Okay, somebody has a Napoleon outlook. So, some of y'all, y'all be dealing with a little itty-bitty, little short person. <laughs> somebody could have little people syndrome, okay? Somebody could have some sort of underlying health issue that they may not know about here. Okay, or well, they're refusing to get treatment for. We have opposites attract. We have new and existing. Well, give me something here. Uh, um, fearful. Why well, fearful here? Oh, wow. So, somebody could be suffering with PTSD here. All right. They could have a bit of an inflated ego. All right. So, somebody, um, but this person, okay, you kind of mess with this person's ego because I feel like they feel like you're difficult to deal with, like, hard to get. Let's just say, Gemini, they say you're hard to get or you play hard to get. And I feel like it bruises this person's ego, Okay. So, you may uh, trigger something within this person, okay? Because they feel like, honey, anything they do, everything they do is never too good for the gym. And Jim just like, no, it's not that, <laughs> okay? But look at this. They But they're going to be running right back to you, though. This is somebody that they do all this and talk all that, but they end up running right back to you, okay? Because at the end of the day, they know you're a loyal heart, but this person is not, so... Okay, you may have someone here. We have at the bottom of the deck, someone wants to be set free. She is free. Say, let their ass go. Let them 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 go. They want to be set free. I tell y'all, listen to um, 
Jaguar rights is called free. Look it up on YouTube. Baby, she breaks it all the way down for you, okay? And you can go and be free. If you want to be free, I can let you free, okay? It's not that hard. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. It's not that serious. It's not that hard nor that serious. Yeah, so pride could be a major issue here. Okay, is why you and this person or this person goes hot and cold when it comes to you. All right, this could be a very prideful person. Some of you, this could be a Leo here. What I'm feeling. What is this? I was disillusioned. So, are they going to try to say they was disillusioned? No, they weren't. Spirit saying they knew exactly what the fuck was going on. Okay? All they had to do was use their own damn mind and not follow the crowd. 555, as I say that. Use their mind and not follow the crowd. All right, so maybe the way that you guys met was the wrong place, wrong time, and you guys, um, you know, linked up with one another, okay, accepted for all it's worth. Is it worth it? So is it is it is some sort of toxic connection that may be trying to either come towards you or that's already existing? Is it worth it? Ooh, Spirit say it is all an act. Spirit say it is all an act. Dust and soul ties. So somebody here, I feel like they're trying to project onto you, trying to make it seem like you're difficult, you're too this, you're too that. Okay, look, baby, absolutely. All right, whoever this is, they overstepped their fucking boundaries. And Spirit said there is somebody better. All right, there's someone here that you two outgrew each other. This person listened to a lot of lies and partial truths about you. But unfortunately, there will be a return, okay? This person's going to try to say that they're more aligned. They've changed a lot of things about themselves, okay? But there are underlying motives, all right? So, ignoring the pain. So, somebody is trying to really convince themselves that you love them. So, somebody is really still in their ego. Like, they really feel like they are that person. Yeah. Some people never change. Second option. There are regrets, okay? And inconsistencies you're going to see. And I feel like y'all going to end up making a detour on this person. Yeah, influence and distraction. You're going to start weighing the pros and cons. What are the pluses? What are the minuses? You know? And you're going to hit this person with a never again. I'm not doing it. So a lot of y'all going to stay on y'all ground here with someone here. Yeah, because you realize again, some people never change. You could be seeing a lot of different um, synchronicities. All right, you could be seeing 00 999 and you could be seeing 66 or 666 or 6666, okay? But this is like spirit is telling you whatever regrets you may have about this situation, okay? Release whatever emotions you have attached to it. And that's what's going to help you in this situation. You releasing whatever emotions that you still have attached to this situation. And the reading that's getting ready to go up before this one. Because, yeah, somebody has unmet needs. So, something, yeah, you want to move on. You know, I feel like whatever closure is needed for this situation, you're going to move on. Um, That's just that. <laughs> that's that on that, okay? That's that on that. What is the advice? Two of Cups, okay? So, I feel like that there is someone that's going to come in that, you know, there may be some sort of differences. But there is a lover, a soulmate connection that's coming in for you, Gemini. Okay, it could be another Gemini. It could be a water sign here. A King of Wands. This King of Wands, baby, is on y'all motherfucking mind. Who is this? Wanting to take action. Now, I'm not going to lie. This King of Wands may try to come off like they are... A king of wands, but they're actually a knight of wands, okay? Now, just be mindful, honey, that you ain't just out here just going la 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 la, you know, feeling like you're on a yellow brick road and your ass ended up in that damn ditch, okay? So just use caution, okay? With this mofo here, we have the chariot, all right? Some of you may need to, you know, if it's late, take some sort of a, uh, make sure you take a taxi home. If it's late, you you know, you out partying, okay, versus you taking, I feel like Metro. Some of you may be wanting to take the Metro. 
Red fingernail polish could be significant. And then we have here, yeah, the Eight of Cups. I just feel like a lot of you all could be at home and just focusing on yourself right now, okay? A lot of you could be working from home. And then we have, yes, four, four, um, four wands. So I feel like there's definitely going to be a victory. Some of you could be getting ready to move as well. Okay, yeah. Some of you could definitely be getting ready to move. And I feel like whatever you're working on, somebody here could uh, make t-shirts or make logos. I feel like something is really going to take off and pick up for you. Um, now, there is some of you, you may be getting bored and tired of the same routine and want some sort of new beginning here. But I do feel like something is definitely coming. For some of you, it's a pregnancy. I just truly got to be honest with you. I'm just, I keep saying it. For somebody here, it's definitely a pre Oh, wow. We got the Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords, so that could be you. Somebody's name could be Regina. All right, somebody could pop up pregnant here, is what I'm saying. Somebody could be getting a tattoo or thinking about getting a tattoo. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? So I would just say, be careful because somebody may not pay for the tattoo. may run out on you. Yeah. Somebody's drinking their sorrows away as well. I am seeing that. Somebody's definitely drinking. And then we have the strange. So Pisces. Could be a Pisces and a Leo. But there was no equal give and take in the situation. Okay. And uh, yeah, these people either want to fight with you or compete with you or something here. The Magician, Eight of Wands, oh Lord. But these people sending oh. Five of Cups. Open 24 hours. So, somebody here could live like near like a 24 hour store. But I feel like this betrayal, whatever this is, this conflict, competition, bickering, whatever this negativity is, I feel like, you know, with this devil energy, these were karmic people that were in your life. Yeah. But they're experiencing some sort of. Uh, yeah, your ancestors on that ass, baby. <laughs> Look, seven of wands with the will of fortune in the reverse. Your ancestors on that ass for whatever they sent your way or whatever they call themselves doing. Because they're so above, so below, okay? As above, so below. Mm -mm. So now these people want to try to come and say, put this fire out. All right, for somebody here, king of pentacles, there could be some sort of a fire that happens. Somebody may end up in the hospital. Okay. And this may be because of something that they they did to you as well. That's crazy. The hermit could be a Virgo. Some of you may be up late, like researching or doing some sort of study here. Okay. I feel like your environment could definitely um some of you may be wanting to do some sort of act um like some sort of uh, humanitarian work, activism, um, Queen of Pentacles, okay. So somebody here could be from Queens, or Queens could be significant. Yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles. So somebody here could be like, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling like a modeling gig here. Okay, uh, but be careful because there's going to be some fierce competition and people who are going to, you know, possibly try to be kind of cutthroat with you. But I feel like with the hair fin here, spirit has your back, spirit has your back. All right, I do feel like there's a tourist that's experiencing some sort of heartbreak and disappointment, okay, that you could have moved away from. All right, so the Staten Island Ferry could be significant. The B82 could be significant as well. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person is feeling stuck in regret, okay? But you are sitting over here just doing you. Look, Ace of Swords, what I'm telling you is the truth. <laughs> You're just sitting over here doing you, and this person feel like you, like, took a knife and just rammed it through their heart, like. 
Well, damn. That's how they feel you denim, job. Wait a minute. Hold on. What is this one? Oh, that's a four of pentacles. Okay. So, yeah. Some of you may need to save. Y'all may be buying, like, purses and things of that nature. Okay. Holding on to materials. So, be mindful of that. Yeah, whoever this Aquarius is, this person is really wanting to come towards you and apologize for the Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they somebody's waiting for the right time. Okay, Five of Swords. But be cautious. And I feel like your ancestors is around you. Be cautious because this person could be just trying to get revenge. Okay. Or be spiteful. Or one-up you in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. What I'm telling you is the truth here. Alright, so, hmm. Show advice. Be cautious, babes. There's people trying to come back in and, you know, with all their little stuff. But you have people who are definitely reaping what they've sown. So, hey. We all gotta answer for our shit sometime, right? All gotta answer for our shit sometime. Again, y'all, do not forget to look out for videos because, like I said, y'all normally get three to upload a day. And I don't want to, um, you know, after that, anything else I upload, you won't get a notification. So, if you see that little red dot up there by my, um, <clears throat> by my profile, AVI, then definitely, you know, look to see because something new, that means something new has been posted. All right. Just want to give y'all the heads up on that. Um, I do want you guys to know for my tarot readers that are on here, I am going to have some exclusive decks that I am going to be selling. So if you would like to reach out, my number is in the description box, okay? Um, we can discuss pricing and all that stuff. Um... And some of these are decks that pretty much are that you may find sold out on other little websites or whatever. So let me know. Like I say, you can text me. You know, I will let you know how many I have in stock. So that way they first come, first serve, who make their payment first and all that good stuff. So do not take it personal, okay? And when I, you know, get my hands on some more, those who weren't able to get them, um, if you have don't have them already, by the time I restock, okay, then what I would do is y'all will be pushed to the front and then, you know, I'll continue to list on for those decks from that point. So, all right, got some stuff in the making, y'all. Got some stuff in the making. All right, let's see. I'm going to get one of these for y'all. Try to use this one in a minute. Let's close out Gemini 1818 as I say that. What do you want? Gemini to know to close off this message here, please. And thank you. Let's see. We have Isis and Osiris. We are the rulers of fate and destiny. Our supreme love transcends life and death. Through magic, we remember and receive blessed. Oh, hold on. We remember and recreate, bringing forth the miraculous birth and rebirth. Eternal love, let your love transcend beyond confines of time and space. Let's see. And we have Oshun and Shango. All right, we have Oshun is water, softly yielding. Shango is fire, iron hard power. River attracts lightning. In thunderous drumming, sizzling passion fertilizes. Complementary, opposites attract, creating steamy connection. Ah, didn't I say something about opposites? Like there's an opposite type of connection that may be coming through for you guys. Give me one more, please, to close out for Gemini. Okay, we have here Yabyum, activating divine masculine and feminine energy. 
We embrace in sexual union, action and insight, transcends duality. We reach enlightenment through ecstasy and bliss. Tantric sex, through the practice of sacred sex, experience divine ecstasy. Some of y'all about to have a sexual union. A sexual union is about to be off the chain. Okay, I'm just telling y'all, look. Get a little bit in for me, too. <laughs> okay. King Arthur, Guinevere, and Lancelot. So, King Arthur's most beloved knight, Lancelot, uh, Varel, str Varel, strong and dynamic, fell in love with Queen Guinevere, a romantic tryst that destroyed honor, ending marriage, friendship, and love, ripping apart Camelot's knight of the round table. Love triangle, complicated and confusing. Honesty and care is needed. Oh, Lord. Could be a love triangle there. So be mindful of that, James. Okay. Strong sexual union here. That I feel like there will be eternal love. Y'all compliment one another, even though y'all may have differences. Okay. Um, But, yeah, there's some sort of love triangle here. Well, we have loyalty here, too. So, we have here eternal love, complimentary, tantric sex, and love triangle. So, somebody, yeah, could be trying to... Somebody's intimidated by your beauty, Gemini. They feel like you can go out here and get who you want to go get. Why them? Why you want to be with them? Okay, why them? <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all know I do. I will see you guys in your next read. Peace.